in 2014, well, what we want to do is set the world land speed record. Uh, it's been a lifetime uh, ambition for myself. I started on the land speed record at 12 years of age, which is a long, long time ago, but we've gone very, very fast. So I've got, actually got the Australian land speed record, uh, and I've been uh, 1,026 kilometres an hour. So, uh, But we want to go a lot faster. We want to be the first team in the world to take a car to 1,000 mile an hour or 1,609 kilometres an hour. And just where will you be doing this? Well, the place we'd love to run the car in Australia, obviously, and uh, the place we'd love to run at is uh, in Queensland. We've uh, located a, a big uh, mud lake in far western Queensland. We'd love to be able to run there, and, uh, but if that doesn't come off, well, uh, our second place of choice is Nevada in the USA. Uh, and Nevada's pretty good because they've got the infrastructure, no flies, and, um, and, and altitude, 6,000 foot altitude, so it's a pretty good spot over there too for us. And tell me what you're unveiling at the Sydney Motor Show. Well, what we've got here, uh, the, the image you see behind us is the stand-up image of the car. We couldn't bring the uh, the proper car. The, uh, she's going to look a little bit like this uh, when it's finished. Obviously quite a bit bigger than that. The, the car or the image behind us is, uh, is a full-scale uh, of what we're building. And it's the world's most powerful car. It's powered uh, by a 62,000-pound thrust rocket engine. Uh, that's designed to propel this car uh, from standing start to 1,600 kilometres an hour in, uh, in 20 seconds. So it's a very, very powerful car. It's the world's most powerful car. But the thing about it is it's Aussie ingenuity. The whole, whole thing's Australian, and uh, we've got uh, just some fantastic support in this country uh, for us to hold the world land speed record. Uh, we already hold, through Ken Warby, hold the world water speed record at 317 mile an hour. We'd love to make an Aussie double and uh, have the land speed record too. So, as I say, I've been on the job all my life and um, it's, uh, it's, it's something we're going to achieve. Now, you held this record before and that was smashed by an Englishman. Yeah, well, we actually went faster yeah, than any car in the world back in about 1996. Uh, we, uh, as I say, the world record then was 1,000, uh, th 1000 just a little bit over 1,000, and we ended up running 1,026. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, the, the, the British are now are also building a car to try and go 1,000 mile an hour also. So it's uh, what, the, uh, what, what the Brits are calling it is the uh, a race for the ashes. It's a land speed record race. They call it the ashes of land speed racing. I don't like the terminology much, but... Um, uh, they're building a pretty neat car, they're going to run theirs in South Africa and uh, as I say, our car would like to run that thing here in Australia uh, or Nevada, second choice. So just put this in some perspective for us, how does your car compare to all those you're seeing at the motor show? Well we've got, uh, I don't, haven't even had a chance to have a look around here but we've got the power of about 257 I believe it is uh, Formula One cars. Uh, and so uh, we actually make, with the rocket motor we've got this car, we also make more power than two Hornet aircraft, so uh, uh, combined. So uh, yeah, it's a very, very powerful car, 200,000 horsepower, 62,000 pound of thrust. And uh, sorry, I'm not too good on my kilowatts, but yeah, it's a very, very powerful car and uh, yeah, very unique. Well, I'm not real good on my kilowatts either. Roscoe McGlashan, thanks very much for speaking to us on Newsday. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.